Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Oppenheim DMX from GeForce Software. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Well, this is a nice addition. This drum machine is fantastic. We know the history behind this machine, which redefined really an era um, in the 80s with a lot of different artists like Ma Madonna, DMC, Phil Collins, etc. But it's, um, it's great work to see um, all the effort put in by the G4 software guys in producing such a high quality um, drum machine. As you can see, I'm using it as a VST inside Ableton Live. And it's pretty straightforward, but don't uh, make a mistake. The sound quality is really good. And I know there's been so much effort put into it to realize this level of quality. So thank you very much to the guys at G4 Software for giving me the opportunity to, to review it, really. So let's go through it. It's um, First of all, it encompasses the uh, sounds, uh, uh, the classic sound from the 80s with updated versions as well, but it also introduces additional palettes in terms of sound. And you can see here that for each of the different tracks, you can define the style of uh, the particular sound. So for example, the start one is the MX Kick Class, classic. But you may want to change to an electric one. Or maybe a bit kick. And you can do the same for snare. You can see how many different types of snares you have. Hi-hat as well. Toms. One and two. Cymbal. Percussion. One and two. Okay, so you have a lot of... Uh, different uh, selection. So let's try again a little bit of snare. Again, let's change that, snare A. So you can uh, hear the differences. Right, that's the classic one. Okay, let's go for the electric. Perfect, reggae. So a lot of different choices, hi-hat, closed, accent, oops, open. And of course, I'm playing with an external controller, so you move through chromatically through the keyboards, and then you can play all the different uh, samples. So it's um, really great, really nice. So toms as well. Conga as well, some from the DX. Let's try some uh, cymbal, ride, classic. Taped, lo-fi, some percussion as well. We are on percussion too, so a lot of different options. Now here you have a knobs um, uh, button, so you click on it, you can change the configuration. Here you go from this mixer view, where you can adjust the level for each part, and you can mute in solo, or you can lock, of course, so that it doesn't change, of course, as you move presets. You can do that for every part. So you can move from that view to this one where you can, uh, um, it's like insert effects really, send the, to the delay effect, send to reverb, then you can adjust the pitch here, the decay, pan left and right, and then of course you can adjust the gain. And if you double click, of course, you go back to the, um, to the default value. You can also uh, click on it and change the value as well as you like. So, reverb. Here, up here, you can adjust the level, the settings for the reverb and the delay. Again, you have lock settings as well. Uh, 
send these. You can adjust the filter here on the reverb, the size, the decay. If you want to make it longer, pre-delay as well, you can insert that overall level, filtering. And here you have a set of preset as well, which you can change. So it makes it much easier to choose the desired reverb. Okay, uh, and if you click down there at the bottom, you can see the selection there as well. Equally, delay here, so let's um, increase here the send for the delay. Increase the feedback, left and right timing, of course, high pass filter and overall level. You can link the left and right for timing, so they move uh, together. Can sync to the host and do cross fading between uh, the two channels, so really nice. Now, in terms of filter, here you have an overall filter, you can adjust the cutoff. You can select between low pass filter, bend pass filter, high pass filter, and then you can adjust the resonance as well. You can introduce distortion and you have setting for mix and drive. The button here, if you click on it, it becomes red when it's active and it works the same for filter as well and also for compressor. Indeed, you have a compressor as well. You set the threshold. then you can act on release and mix as well. So pretty straightforward. Now, um, you can also change presets here, which is great. So you have this view, uh, this advanced view where you can, you can initialize the patch, you can go to the previous one, the next one, you can close it, you can randomize the selection of one of them, you can search, so you can do a lot, um, really, in terms of patch management. And of course, that will reset what the settings for the different parts included in the different parameters. So that's quite nice. Of course, you can use it against uh, um, a track, like a MIDI track from Ableton Live. Of course, you can uh, you can see the tempo information down there. You can see also the option for doing MIDI CC mapping, which is which is great. It's really nice and. Um, of course, you can also create a track like this one, and then you can click play directly from Ableton Live. I like the simplicity, I like the quality of the sound, so it's a great product, I recommend it. Okay, I'm going to stop here, I hope you enjoyed the quick demonstration and short tutorial, and as always, see you next time, bye.